In the film Walking with Herb, a bank executive and former amateur golfer struggles with his fate, faith after an unexpected tragedy. His life takes a turn when he meets Herb. Comedian and actor George Lopez, who plays Herb, joins us this morning to talk a little bit more about his role and faith. George, how are you? I'm good, thank you very much. Good, good. You know, I've got to say, I watched this and you took me to church with this movie. Tell us a little bit about Herb. You know, the, the script was incredibly well written by someone who was agnostic and toward the end of his life. So the, really the adaptation of the book was perfect for a man who was trying to determine if there was something that awaited us after being here. And, um, you know, the idea of the actors that were involved and the idea of, of being able to, you know, act with people that I admired um, and being a comedian and always being underestimated in my life but still able to accomplish things is the challenge that I don't think anybody would have wanted to turn down. But also, I used to not do things because I was afraid and I'm not afraid anymore. So I think the opportunity met uh, this script and me at the right time. Yeah, that's really awesome. And you know, George, with Herb, I I really liked how at every moment it seemed like he he, as I mentioned, like he was taking us to church. You, you know, you were quoting Buddha mm. and you were doing mm. scriptures. Now, be honest, did you know these scriptures or did you have to memorize them? You, I I did not know the the scriptures um, because I, I you know I would. I wish I would have, but when someone is yelling at you in church, where you're not supposed to yell in church, and <laughs> reminding you to pay attention, you don't really want to learn the scriptures. I wish I would have learned them a, a safer way, just through kindness, but uh, I believe in, in just the idea of being kind to someone and not wanting to hurt anybody, and the lesson doesn't have to be complicated for it to be effective. Yeah, and, and I feel like this movie and this lesson comes at such an incredible time. I mean, there are so many lessons to take away from this. What, what do you think you learn most from your character and, and how it relates to who you are as a person? You know, uh, wow, that's, I, I don't know. I think, um, you know, if, if you give up on things, you, you don't know if they're, if they're ever going to bring you anything that's, that's good. So growing up, you know, I quit doing a lot of things that I liked. And, and in this last year, I was able to do something that I like to do again. And it just reminded me that I should have been doing it the whole time. Wow. Yeah. You know, I, I noticed some emotion in that. And, and for me, even watching that movie, it brought up a lot of emotion for me because I, I think, you know, we look at it from many layers. And for me, as a Latina woman, you know, seeing you, seeing Edward James, seeing John Quinones, and, and that y'all were able to really tell this story so beautifully and to show that, that we belong in these spaces, like you said, that maybe before we might have been afraid of. You know, um, I, 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 you know, I learned a lesson to, uh, to just be, you know, kind, you know, I, I, I was, I, you know, Pat from Train was, is a friend of mine, and he wrote two new songs and gave us Calling All Angels, and those Lonely Boys were friends, and they gave us uh, uh, How Far Is Heaven, and Quinones is a friend, and the guys from the Golf Channel. And almost like a messenger in the script, I was able to pull all those people together by just having a friendship with them, and it made this movie credible, and it made it incredible, and I think that everybody that sees this movie won't see the work that went into getting everybody there. But, you know, you don't need to know all of that in order to be proud of what's been done. Yeah, yeah, just incredible. We've got That's about 30 it. seconds <laughs> left, George. What do you want people to take away when they watch this movie? That every day is a chance to start something new and that darkness drives you down and to remember that, you know, it doesn't belong in our lives and that, you know, no matter how long you live, you should make that time worthwhile.
Beautiful words. Thank you so much, George Lopez, <laughs> playing Herb in the film. That's why you me cry. I appreciate it. <laughs> Un abrazo, un beso. Thank you so much, George. <laughs> thank you, thank you.